Love you, Jesus. Love you. Love you, Jesus. We love you, Master. We give you praise tonight. We give you glory, Jesus. We magnify you tonight. We love you with everything in us, oh God. We love you tonight, Lord Jesus. Have your way tonight. Pour the Holy Ghost out on your people tonight. Pour your spirit out on us. Touch every one of us afresh tonight. God, we don't want to remain the same. Bless your people through the word of God tonight. Let the presence of God be made manifest in our midst again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise his name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing, oh Lord. Come on and sing it with me tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise his name forevermore. And endless days We'll sing God's praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Come on and sing it with me tonight Oh praise the name of the Lord our God Praise His name forevermore In endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Come on, sing with me tonight Oh praise the name of the Lord our God Praise His name forevermore And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Lift your voice and sing. Praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord my God. Come on and give a clap off unto the Lord tonight. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you tonight. We love you with our whole heart, oh God, our mind, our soul, our bodies, and our strength. We belong to you, Jesus. We belong to you. We worship you, Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and give him a praise from out of your spirit tonight. We love you, Jesus. Come on, let him know you love him tonight. And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, come on Oh Lord my God Sing it with me tonight Oh praise Oh praise the name Of the Lord our God Praise his name Forevermore And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Praise the name, praise the name of the Lord our God Praise His name forevermore And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Come on and praise the name Praise the name of the Lord our God Praise His name forevermore And endless days We'll sing your praise O oh Lord, O oh Lord my God Praise the name Praise the name of the Lord our God Praise His name forevermore 
and endless days. We'll sing your praise, oh Lord, oh Lord, my God. Come on and give him a clap. We love you, Jesus. God, we give you the praise tonight. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. The Bible says, let everything that have breath give him praise. Let everything that have breath give him praise. David said, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. That's why David said in Psalms 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I feel the anointing of God. Listen, we are worshiping, but someone's being healed right, right across the right side of your neck right behind the back of your air area going down into your neck the power of God is on you receive that miracle of healing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus receive it in Jesus name forevermore and endless days we'll sing God's praise oh Lord oh Lord my God come on lift your voices and sing it with me Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing Your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God. Praise the name, praise the name of the Lord, my God. Praise Him, praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing Your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord my God. Praise the name, praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore. And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Sing it to the Lord Praise the name of the Lord our God Praise His name forevermore And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Just give him a clap offering right now Come on and put your hands together and give God a clap offering The Bible says, oh clap your hands unto the Lord All ye people Give him a clap offering tonight We love you Jesus, we love you Lord Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Praise the name, praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing Your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my. You know Jehoshaphat and the people of God in Second Chronicles chapter twenty. They were surrounded by a vicious enemy who had come to annihilate them and wipe them out. And God sent a man of God full of the Holy Ghost to prophesy in the midst of the camp. And he said, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all you people of Judah, for thus said the Lord, you shall not need to fight in this battle because the battle is not yours this battle belongs to the Lord I just dare someone to type those words right now I just dare somebody to type those words this battle belongs to the Lord 
Some of you are facing great trials, great tribulation, pressure, frustration, anger, disappointment, heartache and pain, backs against the wall. But I believe the Holy Ghost is saying to you tonight, this battle belongs to the Lord. And he said, tomorrow, go out against them. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord oh, with, with you, O oh, King Jehoshaphat and you, Judah. And the Bible says Jehoshaphat consulted with the people and they decided we're going to put the praise team in the front and let them lead this fight. And the Bible said they rose up early that morning and they went to face their enemy. And as they begin to approach the enemy, they were outnumbered 10 to 1, but they lift their voices and began to sing. For the Lord is good and his mercy is endures forever. And the Bible says, as soon as they began to sing and to praise, the Bible says God himself got excited and set ambushments against the enemy and those three nations that had surrounded Judah were smitten. They were completely defeated by the power of God because when you open your mouth and begin to praise God, it releases the power and the presence of God against your adversary called the devil. Are you hearing me tonight? I just dare somebody to help me sing this song unto the Lord tonight. We love you, Lord. Come on and sing it tonight. Oh, praise the name. Sing it. Of the Lord our God. Praise his name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing God's praise. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, my God. Listen. That eviction notice that you have been served some of you lost your jobs some of you about to face repossession of vehicles you're just having a tough time financially you're like a rock in a hard place but i believe the spirit of god is saying tonight the spirit of the living god is saying to you tonight if you just open your mouth and give god the glory tonight give him the praise and trust god tonight Get your eyes of the circumstance and the, the situation. Get your eyes of the problem and get it on the solution tonight. God is your solution tonight. God is your answer tonight. God is your breakthrough tonight. Open your mouth and help me praise Him. Lord our God, sing it. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing God's praise, oh Lord, oh Lord, my God. Praise the name, oh praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing God's praise, oh Lord. Oh Lord my God Sing it with me tonight Oh praise the name Of the Lord our God Praise his name Forevermore And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord Oh Lord my God Sing it with me tonight Praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing Your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord my God. We love You, Jesus. We love You, Lord. We trust you, Jesus. We put our trust in you tonight. And endless days, we'll sing your praise. Oh Lord, oh Lord, my God. 
Praise the name. Praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise his name forevermore. And endless days will sing your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord my God. Praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise his name forevermore. And endless days will sing your praise, O oh Lord. Oh Lord my God Praise Him tonight Praise the name Of the Lord our God Praise His name Forevermore Endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord Oh Lord my Come on sing it with me tonight Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore. And endless days we'll sing Your praise, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, my praise the name. Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore And endless days We'll sing Your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Come on and praise Him tonight church The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised Come on and praise Him Come on and praise Him we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Yera baba shanda la baba na la baba kosa. Rama na la baba shanda la baba sa. Oh, someone's getting a breakthrough right now. Someone's getting a breakthrough. Listen, the Holy Ghost has shown me some of you that's facing an impossible situation in your life right this moment. The Lord God Himself, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost is stepping into your situation. You're about to get a miracle in the midst of it. God tell me to tell you He's turning it around right now. He is turning it around right now. He is going to make the thing work in your favor right now. Oh, somebody help me give my God some praise tonight. Shut up, Baba Sam. Hey. Oh, praise the name of the Lord my God. Praise His name forevermore. And endless days we'll sing your praise. Oh, Lord. I feel something breaking tonight. Somebody help me praise Him. Bless your people tonight, God. Bless them. Break every attack of the enemy. That seemingly impossible situation. Turn it around, God. Turn it around. Turn it around. You said in your word in Luke 137, For with God, absolutely nothing shall be impossible. God, we thank you for stepping in now. The Bible says, When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Weeping men do for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is someone's morning time. Someone's getting a breakthrough. The Holy Ghost is lifting that burden. He is lifting that demonic burden off of your shoulder right now. That attack against your life, against your health, against your marriage, against your finances, against that job, against your ministry, against your business, against your relationships. The Holy Ghost is breaking that attack. Somebody shout, I feel a breakthrough. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Yeah. 
somebody get up and just dance to your house. Somebody ought to dance. Somebody ought to run. Someone lift your hands to heaven tonight and help me give it praise. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, my God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him, church. Praise Him. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him. Praise Him tonight. He is worthy. Praise Him. Praise Him tonight. Give Him glory. Give Him honor. Give Him worship. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. I feel something breaking tonight. Every curse, every hex, every spell, witchcraft, that demonic attack, that assault on your life, it's broken. Somebody shout, it's broken. It's broken. Somebody shout, it's broken. It's broken. The snare is broken. Somebody type it. The snare is broken. It's broken. The devil thought you were about to give up. The devil thought you were about to throw the towel in. But the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords has stepped in to your situation tonight. Somebody shout, I feel like running myself tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Dry up your tears. God's going to give you a miracle. God's going to give you a miracle. God's going to give you a miracle. God's giving you a breakthrough right now. He's turning it around. Yeah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way tonight. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way tonight. Have your way. Have your way. Yerama Shata. I rebuke every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places. Satan, we bind you in the name of Jesus. We bind you and we cancel every attack, every fiery dart of the enemy. We cancel it tonight. We shut it down. We say return to sender in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Come on, somebody. Shout Jesus. Shout the name Jesus. Shout the name Jesus. Jesus. Shout the name Jesus. Type the name Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We love you tonight. Every dark cloud, oppression, depression, demons of loneliness, 
emotional highs and lows. It's like your people have been on a roller coaster. We break that attack tonight. Bring the peace of God. Bring your joy back. Bring stability back in their lives. Let the word of God come alive to them. That demon that have been distracting them, fighting against their prayer lives, fighting against their ability to fast, fighting against their ability to focus and meditate on the word of God, fighting their ability to seek God. We curse the attacks tonight. We break it. Yeah, yeah. And endless days we'll see God's praise. Oh Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. His troops. His truth is matching on tonight. And endless days we'll sing God, God's praise. Oh Lord. Burdens are being lifted tonight. Yeah. Somebody worship Jesus. Somebody bless him. Somebody magnify him. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Yes. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Master. Pain in the chest, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Someone's being healed from a pain in the left side of your chest, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Be healed by the power of God right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And endless days. Someone's being healed from pain in the chest around the heart area. The Holy Ghost is healing you right now. Just put your hands there and say, Lord, I receive my miracle tonight. I curse prostate cancer in the name of Jesus. Cancer of the stomach, colon cancer. I rebuke it tonight in the name of Jesus. Cancer of the lungs pancreatic cancer I curse it in Jesus name cancer of the kidneys I rebuke it cancer of the bladder tonight cancer I rebuke here cancer of the bones cancer of the tongue of the throat cancer on the brain I rebuke it tonight in the name of Jesus cancer in the air I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Mighty God you are tonight. His name forevermore. And endless days. We'll sing your praise. Oh Lord. Oh Lord my God. Sing it with me tonight. Praise him. Praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing Your praise, O oh God, O oh Lord. I praise the name. We love You tonight. We love You tonight. We love You tonight, Jesus. And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord, oh Lord my God Sing it with me tonight, praise Him Oh praise the name of the Lord our God Praise His name forevermore And endless days We'll sing your praise Oh Lord Oh Lord, our God, we love you, Jesus. We love you tonight. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. 
We'll sing your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God. We love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Master. And endless days. We love you with everything in us tonight. Oh Lord, my. We love you, Jesus. We love you tonight. Praise His name forevermore and endless days. We'll sing Your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my. Praise the name, praise the name of the Lord our God. Praise His name forevermore. And endless days will sing your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, my God. Worship Him tonight, church. Worship Him tonight. Praise His name forevermore. And endless days sing your praise, O oh Lord. Oh Lord, our God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, our God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, our God. Oh, we love you. Come on, lift your voices to Him. We love you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Come on and worship him tonight. Come on and worship Jesus. Magnify him. Come on and love on him tonight. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. I just feel a spirit of praise on us tonight. Come on and worship Jesus. He wants us to praise him. He wants us to praise him. Praise him. Praise Him. Praise the name of the Lord. He's worthy. Oh, He's worthy. Glory to Jesus. 
There is power Power in the name of Jesus Sing it with me tonight There is power in the name of Jesus Sing it church There is power in the name of Jesus To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain To break To break every chain There is power tonight Sing it church There is power In the name of Jesus We love you Lord There is power In the name of Jesus There is power In the name of Jesus To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain To break every chain Break every chain There is power There is power In the name of Jesus There is power In the name of Jesus Sing it to him There is power In the name of Jesus To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain To break To break every chain There's an army rising up Sing it Cause there's an army rising up God's raising up an army There's an army rising I'm talking about an army of Christians An army of worshipers An army of people who are not ashamed Of the name of Jesus Oh, we love you. We love you, Lord. To break every chain. There's an army tonight. There's an army rising up. Worship him tonight. There's an army rising. My God. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break, to break every chain. I hear the chains falling, sing it with me. I hear the chains falling. Somebody's chains have fallen tonight. I hear the chains falling. Somebody's time I've been set free tonight. I hear the chains. Yes, I hear chains falling tonight. Shackles are falling tonight. People who were prisoners to the devil tonight. Prisoners to sickness. Prisoners to poverty. Prisoners to sin. It's broken tonight. Somebody type it's broken. It's broken. It's broken tonight. Yes, it's broken tonight. 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 Yes, Lord. It's broken tonight. Sing it. It's broken tonight. Type it. It's broken tonight. It's broken tonight. Yes, it's broken tonight. It's broken tonight. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken tonight. 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 Yes, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. It's broken. It's broken. That oppression, that depression. 
That spirit of heaviness is broken tonight. That demonic presence have left your life once and for all. Oh, we love you, Jesus. I hear the chains falling tonight. I hear the chains falling. Yeah, yes. I hear the chains falling. Falling tonight. I hear the chains. There is power, because there is power in the name of Jesus. It's about Jesus. There is power at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, whether there be things in heaven, on earth, or under the earth. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Sing it, church. There is power. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Sing it! There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. My God, my God, my God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. 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 We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. 
We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. 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 Great deliverance. Giveth heed to his anointed. Great deliverance. Great deliverance. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Jesus. Glory to God. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you tonight, Master. We glorify you, Lord. We glorify you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Master. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Glory to God. We worship you, Jesus. Mighty God you are tonight. We worship you, Jesus. Glory to God. He's an awesome God tonight, saints. He alone is worthy to be praised and adored tonight. He is the King of all kings. He is the Lord of all lords. He raised from the dead on the third day and said, All power is given to me in heaven and on earth. We love you, Jesus love you master with everything in us our hearts our minds our soul our bodies and our strength belongs to you belongs to you we love you master oh we love you Jesus 
We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Glory to God. This is a prophetic night in the presence of God. A lot is happening tonight. A lot is happening tonight. Who can, who would say, Pastor, I can sense in my spirit tonight that a lot is taking place. God's doing something special in all of our lives tonight. Who can say, Pastor, I feel the same way. My God, my God, my God. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Yes. My God, my God. Yes. 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 Tell him yes. Yes. My soul say yes. 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 Tell him yes tonight. Yes. My soul say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. To your will. Yes. My soul say yes. Tell the Lord yes tonight. Tell the Lord yes. I don't want my way. I don't want my plan. I want God's plan for my life. And we say, yes. Tell him yes tonight. Love you, Jesus. Yes. Tell him yes. Yes. My soul say yes. Yes, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Tell him yes tonight, my soul say yes, yes Lord, yes, yes, come on sing it, yes, my soul say yes, yes to your will, yes to your way, yes, tell him yes, Yes, my soul say yes. Yes, Jesus. Your will be done. Your will be done in my life. My soul say yes. Yes. So say yes, so say yes, my soul say yes, yes, my soul say yes, my soul say yes. Someone just lift your hands to heaven and tell them yes. Whatever you want to do, my soul say yes. 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 My God. Yes. Yes. 
Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Yeah. So say yes to your God. Yes to your will. Yes to you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. So say yes. So say yes. God you are. Yes, my soul say yes. 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 Love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Yes, my soul say yes. My soul say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your plan. Yes. 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 Yes to your will, God. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Yes. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. We love you, Jesus. Oh, mighty God, keep playing. Listen, I want to say this. You know, the Holy Ghost, He wants us to really just learn to take our time and wait in his presence so much more is accomplished when we're not in a hurry for what's the next thing when you realize it ain't about the next thing it's about jesus it's about worshiping him in spirit and truth it's about allowing him to love on us and have his way in our lives there's nothing like the presence of god yes my soul say yes 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 tell him yes yes my soul say yes yes to your will yes to your way yes to your plan yes yes Yes, 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 tell him yes, yes, yes. He's a mighty God tonight. Glory to God. Listen, I want to take time out right now to receive. We'll go right back to that after this. I want to receive this evening's offering for the kingdom of God, for the work of the ministry, for the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I tell you, I feel the presence of God. I, f I just feel like God is doing something sacred, precious, and special in all of our lives tonight. 
you are not on this broadcast by mere coincidence. The Holy Spirit did not lead you to this ministry by coincidence. There's no coincidence in God. Your life is being directed by the Holy Ghost. Your steps are being ordered by the Lord, as you will see as we get deeper into the word on tonight. But I just want to receive... I just want to read this scripture for the even, for this evening's offering. And I've been reading this a whole lot. I want to go back to this Philippians chapter 4, verse 16 through 19. The Apostle Paul said, even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent help more than once. Verse 15, Paul told this group of people. This was the people who was touched by his ministry. They were discipled by Paul. This was a church that he had established. He was their apostle. And these people believe in the gospel that the apostle Paul preached. Paul said, you Philippians were the only one who gave me financial help to carry out God's plan, God's will, and for the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 17, the apostle Paul said, says, I don't say this because I want a gift from you. Rather, I want you to receive a reward for your kindness. Wow, there is a reward when you support the gospel of Jesus Christ, when you give out of pure motives, out of just Pure, sincere love for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. No more, no less. You got to keep your focus right there. This is why you pay tithe to your local church. This is why you sow seeds. This is why you give offerings. It is for the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are not given to get something. You will get as a result of your giving to the gospel. But you are not given to try to manipulate God. You are given out of pure love and sincerity for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Watch this. The Apostle Paul said, at the moment I have all I need and more. I am generously supplied with the gifts you sent me with Epaphroditus. They are a sweet smelling sacrifice that is acceptable and well pleasing to God. This is very important right here. I want to read verse 18 from the King James Version of the Bible. I like the King James Version for verse 18 better. Notice what Paul says. He said, this is how God sees your giving into his kingdom. The Apostle Paul says, your offering that was sent from you, it is an odor of a sweet smell a sacrifice acceptable and well pleasing to God. That's how God sees your giving. And for you who desire to give and don't have it to give, the Bible also have a scripture for you. He said, if there is a willing heart, it is accepted. That's a powerful scripture. So God is saying to you who, who, who desire to support the work of God, who believe in the gospel that we are preaching, who want to give, who want to support, but you are just, it's, you just, you just don't have it. Well, guess what? God God says, if you have a willing heart, it is accepted as though you give a real offering. Now that's powerful stuff. Watch this, verse 19. Paul said, as a result of your giving that's come up before God as a sweet smell of sacrifice, acceptable and well-pleasing to God, he says, my God, my God shall supply. Not some. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He will meet every need in your life. He will meet every, I know what it is for my back to be against the wall, me and my wife, financially and God step in and turn it around worked it in our favor that we come out as the head and not the tail above only and not beneath bless and not curse heal and not sick are you hearing me tonight bless coming in bless going out bless in the city bless in the field bless in our storehouse the fruit of our womb somebody shout blessed glory to god he's a mighty god tonight 
To give your donation, your offering, your seeds, visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give right now through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Go on ahead and sow your seeds right now. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray over those who have to give. I pray over those who have a desire to give but doesn't have it in their possession at the moment. I pray that you would bless them all under the sound of my voice. Bring financial increase into every one of their lives under the sound of my voice. Bring the blessings of God into their lives. Your word says in Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and it adds no sorrow. That means all of our needs met, nothing broken, nothing missing, God. I pray you deliver your people from a spirit of lack, God. Bring them out. Give them favor. Give them financial wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Give them the people. Put the right people in their lives that will show them how this works Lord you said in your word that when we give it's coming back to us good measure press down shaken together and running over shall men give into our bosom for with the same measure we mean your word says it will be given back to us again you made a way. You made a way. You made a way. When my back was against the wall. When my back was against the walls. And it seemed as if it was over. You made a way. You made a way, you made a way. I'm standing here, and I'm standing here only because you made, you made a way, you made a way. You made a way. Standing here. And I'm standing here only because you move mountains, you move mountains, you cause walls to fall, you cause walls to fall with your power, perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, that's impossible. And we're standing here. Only because you made a way, you made a way. We love you tonight. You made a way. Standing here tonight, and I'm standing. You move mountains, you move mountains. Sing it, church. You cause walls to fall. With your power, perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. We're standing here only because you made a way. You made a way. Glory to Jesus. We're standing here, standing.
You move mountains, you move mountains You cause walls to fall with your power Perform miracles There is nothing that's impossible We're standing here only because You made a way you Father, as we get ready to go into the word of God tonight, minister to your people, strengthen them. Let this word come alive to them. Let this be an answer to someone's prayer tonight. Show them that you are directing their steps, sometimes even when they don't realize it. Let this passage of scripture that we're about to go into tonight, let it come alive to your people, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. You made a way. You made a way. You made a way. Standing, and I'm standing, yeah. You move mountains. You move mountains, sing with me tonight. And you cause walls to fall with your power. There is nothing, there is nothing, church. That's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Oh, come on, help me give him praise tonight. Come on and help me bless him. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Jesus. <laughs> praise God, praise God. Amen, amen. You're in the right place at the one more time. Come on, just give him praise. You're at the right place at the right time. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. All right, let's jump into the Word of God. Now, remember on Thursday night, we talked about, we talked about David. Anointed for God's plan. Anointed for God's plan. On tonight, we are going, we were in chapter 16 on Thursday night. On tonight, we're going into chapter 17 as we talk about your steps are ordered by the Lord. Your steps are ordered. Praise God for ordering our steps. Let me give you a little background on what's happening here in chapter 17. In chapter 17 of uh, 1 Samuel, from verse 1 all the way through 16, what's happening here is Goliath is standing big and bold and tall, and he has been challenging King Saul and his entire army. Now remember, David's three older brothers, they served in King Saul's army. So so Goliath had been challenging the people of God for 40 days and 40 nights intimidating them, mocking them, and nobody, no one up to this point was willing to take on Goliath. Won't you hear me good? I just want you to type these words with out the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you are nothing. Type it real bold. Without the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you are 
nothing. You can't do a thing without the anointing of the Holy Ghost. So what's happening here is when King Saul was anointed, when the Spirit of God was on his life, he was able to conquer. He put every army, he put every enemy to flight. But now King Saul, King Saul is in a backslidden condition. The Spirit of God had departed from King Saul. And so this challenge was uttered by Goliath for 40 days and 40 nights. That's five and a half weeks, pretty much six weeks, you can say. He challenged him, and now, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this, and now this was day 40 of his challenge to Israel. And listen, one of the things he said to them, he said, if you send out them, and I know, now look, you got to pay attention. These fellas are liars. Goliath is a bold liar. Notice what he said. He said, if you send out a man to fight me and he defeat me, we will become your servants. We will be your slaves. But if I kill him, then you would have to be our slaves. Uh, now, he, he didn't mean it. You're going to see later in this story, he was lying right through his teeth. He is a liar. The devil is a liar and the father of all lies. You can't believe a thing the devil says. Now, watch this. He challenged them for 40 days and 40 nights. For 40 days. Now, this was the last day of Goliath's challenge to King Saul and his army, and they were probably getting ready to launch an attack on the people of God. And this brings us into the timing of God, and you're about to see how God can order your steps in some simple ways. It's so simple, I believe we all miss it sometimes. We all miss his direction because it comes so subtly and so simple. This brings us to 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 17. 18 and then verse 23. Watch this. Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says, one day. <laughs> now, this blows my mind. Jesse knows, he knows his eldest sons is out there helping Saul. Jesse does not realize that this is day 40 of Goliath's challenge to King Saul's army. All of a sudden, Jesse has this urge. This is David's dad. Jesse has this urge urge and he said to David take this basket of roasted grain and these 10 loaves of bread and carry them quickly to your brothers but almost sound like almost sound like God's working on this man this is coming from his dad but this is what I want you to see most people would miss God because it's not a big prophetic utterance or it's not a big vision the angel didn't sharpen in the dream and give the instructions or something a, a bright light didn't come out of heaven and God's voice didn't thunder down so we tend to miss these things this is day 40 of the challenge all of a sudden Jesse has a urge to tell David take this basket of roasted grain and these 10 loaves of bread and carry them quickly to your brothers. Now you tell me God's timing ain't good because David had just been anointed in chapter 16. David had already experienced results of the anointing on his life. He was able to kill a lion. He was able to kill a bear under that anointing when he was only a shepherd boy. And now God realized this is the last day of this challenge. So let me get the anointing. I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I want to shout myself happy tonight. Listen, God God said, I know exactly what King Saul and this whole army is lacking. <coughs> Excuse me. They are lacking the anointing. Glory to God. I said, they are lacking the anointing. Goliath is out there. He is challenging King Saul and his whole army. And this is the last day of that challenge. But little that Goliath knew. The anointing was headed his way. 
people that discouraged King Saul and his army, people that they knew the anointing of the Holy Ghost was headed their way. It was on a young shepherd boy, 17 years old, by the name of David. The giant killer was on his way. I dare you to shout, help is on the way. The anointing to bring this giant down is on the way. The anointing to give us a miracle is on the way. The anointing to give us a breakthrough, it's on the way. The anointing to turn the tide on the enemy is on the way. Somebody shout, the anointing. Hey, I wanna run tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hey, I feel the anointing. Hallelujah. The anointing is coming to your house. Let go, lion. I feel God tonight. Let go, lion. Open his big mouth. Little did he know this was his last day to challenge the people of God. Little did Goliath knew his time was running out. I stopped by to preach to every devil, every demon, every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places that's been challenging you for the last several years, for the last several months, for the last several weeks. I got a prophecy for the enemy tonight. This is your last time standing against the people of God in this area. God is about to settle this thing once and for all. Somebody shout, help is on the way. I feel the Holy Ghost, help is on the way. It might not come when you want it to come, but he'll be there right on time. And he may not show up through who you think he ought to show up through, but he'll show up through a person that's got a pure heart, that's got a clean hand, that's been anointed by the Holy Ghost. I may be young, but I'm anointed. I may not be famous, but I'm anointed. I may be broke, but I'm anointed. I may only be a shepherd boy, but I am, I am. Somebody shout, I'm anointed. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Mandala Baba Santa. Ikara Mandala Bokosa. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. The Holy Ghost lives in me. Jesus lives in me. I'm not by myself. I got help. Somebody shout it. Help is headed. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why the Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right that you may live long on the earth that it may go well with you God he worked through Jesse David's dad to send David right into God's plan right into God's will right into his destiny somebody shout yes Hallelujah! My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. So look. So so his dad said in verse 18 there, give these ten cuts of cheese to their captain, to your the captain of your brothers. See how your brothers are getting along. 
bring back a report to me and let me know how they are doing. See, this, this passage here just blows my mind. It almost sounds like Genesis chapter 37 when God used Jacob, Joseph's dad, to send him to go and check on his brothers and that command from his dad sent Joseph into his destiny. He was age 17. And now we see the exact same trait happening in David's life. David is 17. And at this ex at the exact right time, his dad said, go on and check on your brothers and bring me back a report and tell me how they were doing. My God, but this is God operating and orchestrating this whole thing. It, all of this was of God. There's no way Jesse could and knew, know what was happening. And the Bible says, Jesse said, give these 10 cuts of cheese to your brothers. See how they're getting along and come back and bring me word again. The Bible says, as he was talking with them, verse 23, as he was talking to his brothers, giving them their lunch, Goliath didn't even know the anointing is in the camp now. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> this whole thing is booby trapped and he don't even realize it. He about to step on a dynamite. <laughs> I said he about to step on a stick of dynamite. He don't even realize David's in the camp. Had he realized it, he would have just broke off a running for his life, but the devil don't know everything. I want you to hear me, good God, have many a surprise to spring on your adversary. So David is in the camp with the anointing all over him and at the same time he's talking to his brothers Goliath <laughs> the Philistine champion from Gath came out and gave them the usual threats and David heard what this man was saying and how he taunted Israel. And I believe something, I believe it was like someone struck a match on the inside of David. This man just started burning up on the inside. And David said, who is, I like this little boy, only 17, man. Who is? This uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God. My God, my God. So, so David said to the men, what did you say the king is going to do for the man who knocks this giant down and wipe him out and remove the reproach of Israel? The men said to David, the king is going to give that man his daughter's hand in marriage. I feel a fight coming. <laughs> oh, I have, to, I have to go through a battle to get my wife and the fight was worth it. Watch this. He's going to give, the king is going to give his daughter's hand in marriage. My God. The king is going to give him great riches. The king is going to make his father's house tax-free in all Israel. David said, you got to be kidding me. Tell me this thing. Tell me the promise one more time. My God, they, re they repeat the promise to David. And at the same time, his eldest brother, Eliab, remember we talk about him on Thursday night. His eldest brother, Eliab, heard what David was saying. And Eliab, being used by Satan is what I would say. Listen to the words David's eldest brother said to him. My God, my God. His elder, hey, listen, verse 28. And Eliab, his eldest brother, verse 28. His eldest brother heard, heard when he spoke to the men. And Eliab's anger wasn't kindled against Goliath. <laughs> you can tell he ain't the chosen one. His anger was kindled against David. Now, wait a minute, man. How, why didn't he show that anger towards Goliath? Because he was a chicken. He was a coward. That's what he was. Watch this. I'm just going to preach it like it is tonight. Eliab's anger, anger was kindled against David. You see, there are some people in the church, they more comfortable with the devil uttering his threats and saying that in the minute somebody anointed, God want to raise them up. Everybody want to shoo them and shut them down. Are you hearing me tonight? I dare somebody I dare somebody open your mouth and say thank God I'm anointed thank God I'm anointed thank God hey thank God thank God I'm anointed my God my God now watch this was his own family listen to what his eldest brother said why did you come down here 
Now, wait a minute. The boy's obeying his dad. That's why I'm down here. My dad sent me, man. You don't want me to obey dad anymore? He, so he said, why did you come down here? <laughs> and with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? Boy, he can't, he can't say A or B to go lied, but he sure giving David a hard time. Wow, wow, wow. Listen to what he accused David of. I know your pride and the naughtiness of your heart. You come down so you can see the battle. I don't, I don't see no battle going on. <laughs> Do you? All I hear is Goliath talking and the rest of y'all running like a bunch of dogs with their tails curled between your leg, hounding and running for the mountains. I don't see no fight going here. Do you? Now watch this. David said, what have I now done? I love this verse 29 in the KJV. Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? Don't somebody need deliverance from this big nasty giant who is torturing and tormenting you and making you afraid? Do, isn't there a cause, man? Somebody need to rise up and yield to God so God can use them to set this nation, to set a generation free. I feel the Holy Ghost right about here. Is there not a cause? I feel the Holy Ghost. So listen, so, so the Bible says David Turned away from Eliab. Oh, he was his eldest brother. My God. He was his big brother. He was his flesh and blood. But when the devil want to use your flesh and blood, you got to do what David did. He turned away and talked to somebody else that was quoting and rehearsing the promise of the king. I dare somebody to shout, we need a word from God. We need the word on Christ. The solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. Thy word, O oh Lord, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Somebody shout, we need the word, we need the word, we need, hey, we need the word, glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Shama nada bakasa. So, so, word of what David was saying, it got into the ears of King Saul that there is a young man willing to take on Goliath. My God, I feel like I'm going to have me some church tonight if I got to have it by myself. Listen, listen here real good. So, word got to King Saul. Word got to him that there is a young man willing to take on this big nasty giant that's challenging the people of God. So D David went, King Saul sent for David, he went into Saul and said, don't worry about this Philistine, <laughs> David told Saul. I'll go and fight him. Ah, bring it, bring it on, bring it on. Show me where that devil is. The devil is a liar. I said he is a liar. And when you come face to, you, 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 look, you just don't go looking for him. But when he manifests himself, you got to ye yield to the Holy Ghost and use the name of Jesus and put him on the run. The Bible says, James 4, 7, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. That word resist means you got to fight back. You can't take it laying down. King Saul said in verse 33 in the NLT, don't be ridiculous, Saul replied. I'm not being ridiculous. Listen to what he said. There's no way. <laughs> this is the king, man. You can tell this man don't have the Holy Ghost. He's talking to a man anointed by the Spirit of God. Who have already seen God at work and he's telling this young man, there's no way you can fight against this Philistine and win. He said, there's no way you can fight this Philistine and possibly win. You're only a boy. <laughs> and he's been a man of war from his youth. And David said, let me just whip my testimony out. Let me tell you what God's done for me. I kept my father's flock and a lion and a bear came. And I caught the, I caught the lion by his bed. And I club him to death. I did the same thing to the bear. And this 
uncircumcised Philistine is about to join the ranks of the lion and the bear because with God absolutely nothing shall be impossible so the Bible says after David was so bold about it he convinced King Saul but King Saul said man if you're gonna go fight against this giant at least carry my my shield my sword and my spear and David tried it on and the Bible says David couldn't go with them but because he hadn't proven he said to King Saul I can't take this stuff I haven't proved it but I've proven my slingshot and my stool you got to go with what you know work Fasting works, worship works, the word works, prayer works, meditating on the word, it works. I got to go with what I know work. I can't get fancy now. And the Bible says, King Saul said, go and may the Lord be with you. And the Bible says, David stop by a small stream. He stopped by a small brook of water. He reached down his hands and he picked up five smooth stones. That was the same stones that King Saul's army, they ran by the same stream. They ran by the same stones and little that they know the answer for the solution to their problem was right in a stream but you got to have the Holy Ghost eyes have not seen nor ear heard neither have it entered into the heart of a man the things which God has prepared for those who love him but God has revealed him unto us by the Holy Ghost. You got to see the solution through the eyes of faith. What God may give you may not make sense to the natural man, but it's going to bring the victory. So David, he picked up his five stones, he gathered his slingshot, and he marched out towards Goliath. And the Bible says, when Goliath saw David coming, he began to poke fun at him and said, who do you think I am? Do you think I am a dog that you come to me with a stick and you come to me with this other stuff but I'm going to take your flesh and I'm going to feed it to the birds of the air and to the beasts of the field and he thought David was going to draw back but I come to preach to somebody tonight the steps of a good man they are ordered by the Lord it was God that ordered David's steps to be in the right place at the right time to step into his destiny and now David he is not backing down he is running head on into Goliath God was still ordering his footsteps God will order your footsteps to run into some giants that is why David said even when I walk through the valley and the shadow of death I fear no evil because God is with me and David said to the giant you come to me with a sword and a spear but I come to you in the name of the God of Israel whom you have defied and this day will all the earth know that there is a God in Israel so he loaded his slingshot and he began to swirl it around somebody get a piece of cloth and swirl it around swing your hand around say devil this is your last stand this is your last day this Goliath that you see today you see them no more forever because your steps are ordered by the Lord and David ran towards Goliath and the Holy Ghost opened David's eyes and helped him to see his forehead is not protected so David aimed towards his forehead and he released that stool and it went my God and it landed on the target it hit Goliath right smack dab in his forehead the stool sank in 
Goliath weeble. He wobbled. He began to creak. And he fell to the ground. My God. He fell to the ground. Face down. Somebody shout. Goliath is down. Goliath is down, folks. Goliath is down. Through Christ's death, he spoiled principalities and powers, making an open show of them, triumphing over them in it. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? The Bible says, when Goliath fell to the ground, he did not have, he didn't, when Goliath fell to the ground, David was looking around because David did not have a sword in his hand. And he looked on the side of that dead body and he noticed there was something shining, there was something glittering. And he ran over and stood on top of Goliath. When he stood on top of Goliath, it was a declaration that the devil is under my feet. Somebody jump up like you standing on Goliath. He gave you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you. No weapon that's formed against you will be able to prosper and every tongue that rise against you in judgment it shall be condemned what shall we say to these things if God be for us who can be against us somebody shout I'm on top of my giant I'm on top of my problem I'm on top of my situation I'm on top of my storm I'm on top of my circumstance the devil is under my feet and David reached out and he grabbed Goliath's sword and he went down and chopped off the head of the giant now you can say like the Apostle Paul I am more than a conqueror greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world God is on my side I'm not afraid what man can do to me God is on my side my mama said it like this if Jesus is on board in the midst of the storm you can smile at the storm somebody shout victory somebody shout my steps my steps have been ordered by the Lord I'm not going back down now I'm not going back up now God is on my side and the righteous are as bold as a lion Jesus said upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it somebody shout no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon my steps are ordered by the Lord I'm in covenant I'm covered in the blood I'm standing on the word I'm full of the Holy Ghost I'm not going back down now somebody shout fight back fight back hey I feel the Holy Ghost hey I feel the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. Sing it with me tonight. You have won the victory. Sing it with me tonight, church. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. And death cannot hold you down. Come on, worship with me tonight. 
You are the risen King. Seated, seated in majesty. You are the risen. You are the risen King. Our God is risen. Our God is risen. He is alive. Mighty God, mighty God, our God, our God is risen, He reigns, my God, He is alive, He is alive, hallelujah, sing it to the King, hallelujah, you have won, you have won the world. Glory, we love you, Lord. Hallelujah. You want it all. You have won it all for me. Death couldn't, death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. See it. Seated in majesty, you are the risen. Listen. Your steps are being honored by the Lord, saints. Do you get that? David's steps was honored by the Lord. God directed his steps through his father right into his destiny when you hear the name David you remember one thing that's the 17 year old boy who smacked Goliath down who brought Goliath to his knees defeated him and I gotta say this you know why Goliath couldn't defeat David want me to tell you why because Jesus had to come through David Goliath didn't have a prayer in the dark. He ran into a man that Jesus would come through in the future. You can't stop God's plan, devil. When you are connected to God's plan, every Goliath has to come down. Every mountain has to move out of the way. You see, it all goes back to Jesus. Halle, hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Seated, seated in majesty. Listen. I want to pray for you tonight. Join your faith with me again. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we join our faith with you tonight. That God would order your steps. That you would be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. That you would just trust that God will work out His plans for your life. That's what Psalm chapter 138 verse 8 says. The Lord will work out His plans for your life. He knows what he's doing. God may not come through the dramatic way every time, but God is leading and directing you. Psalms 37, 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The end of that verse in NLT says, and God delights in every detail of his life. He's leading you, he's guiding you, he's directing you. That's why you are tuning into this broadcast tonight, listening to this message. It's not a coincidence. You have been directed by the Lord. Might be daytime someplace else, but God is ordering your steps. You have won. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Tonight is a night of victory. Tonight is a night of turnaround where a lot of stuff that the enemy designed to hinder you and slow you down and stop you. God is going to shut it down like he did with Goliath. Be encouraged. God 
is on your side. He's ordering your steps. He's leading you. He's guiding you. He's directing you. People may misunderstand you, but don't worry about it. Keep your eyes on the big picture, which is God's plan for your life. He loves you so much. I want to make another call here. That's to you that are tuning into this broadcast. You feel the Spirit of God. God's talking to you through this message. But you've not yet surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. For God to do what He wants to do in your life, you have to say yes. You've got to surrender to Him. So without any further hesitation, I want you to pray this prayer. You know Jesus loves you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that who so ever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord and savior pray this prayer after me say lord jesus forgive me of all of my sins wash me in your blood save my soul i believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the son of the living God that you died on Calvary cross for my sins you were buried in a borrowed tomb and on the third day God raised you from the dead and gave you all power in heaven and on earth Lord Jesus hear my prayer from this night, I surrender my entire life to you. From this night, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul and writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Friend, if you just prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart, let me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, be the first to say to you, welcome into the kingdom of God. Welcome into the family of God. God has a great plan for your life. You know, Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me and my words down here on this earth, Jesus said, I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my Father. And the holy angels so I want you to make a public confession right now and type in this live chat if you're on the live broadcast if you're watching the rebroadcast type below this video I've just surrendered my life to Jesus we want to give a shout out to you we want to give you a welcome into God's kingdom come on do it right now type I've just surrendered my life I surrender all oh, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus I surrender all and all to thee my blessed Savior I surrender come on sing it to the Lord tonight oh I surrender all oh I surrender all all to thee my blessed Savior I surrender God bless you Cecilia God bless you, Shay Shay, Melissa, Walter, N Nat and Natalia, Lisa. God bless you, Marion, Tisa, Veronica. God bless you, Laura, Lariah. God bless you, Rosemary. God bless you, Tamara, Kiki. God bless you, David. God bless you. Kishana, God bless you. Ruth, God bless you. Peron, God bless you. Sandra, Oliver, Walter, God bless you. God bless you. Key, God bless you. 
Mary again, God bless you. Charlene, God bless you. Walter, God bless you. Marcia, God bless you. Oliver. Oh, I surrender all, all to thee. All. Welcome into the kingdom of God. Welcome into the family of God. Michelle, God bless you. God bless you, June. God bless you. Reg, God bless you. Donet, God bless you. Surrender all and all to thee, my blessed Savior. Gail, God bless you. Give myself. God bless you, Andrea Fennel. Jennifer Chin, God bless you. Cindy, Cheryl, Gabrielle, Tama, Cornea. Give myself. I give myself. Celestine Otaba, God bless you. I give myself away so you can use me. Novelette, God bless you. Amrika, God bless you. Roxanne, Sophia, God bless you. Arlene, God bless you. Andrea. Wendy, God bless you. Give myself, I give myself. You know we love all of you. John, Laze, God bless you. God bless all of you, new people into the kingdom. Stay plugged into this broadcast. Look you up a nice local church that's teaching and preaching the word of God. Join yourself to a local church that's on fire for God. Join your church, join, join a on fire local church, on fire for God. Amen. I want you to take a look at this commercial. We, I wrote a book, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us, and also an ad for an upcoming meeting. Check it out. It's here, the book we've been waiting for, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us, a complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Pastor Sean Pinner invites you to two special meetings at Farmington, New Mexico. Get ready to be empowered with the preaching of the gospel, uplifted with anointed worship, and ushered into the presence of God. Be impacted with the life-changing manifestation of the Holy Spirit and witness the miraculous healing power of God. God's getting you ready to show you a side of himself that you have never seen before. Experience the ministry of Pastor Sean Pinner at the Journey Church, February 9, 2020, at 10 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. For more information, call 505-320-9190. Come expecting to receive your miracle. See you there. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Listen, we love all of you. We love all of you. We love all of you. And that's coming from me and my lovely wife. And we will see you guys on Thursday night, 
7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We love all of you. We appreciate you. We don't take you for granted. And don't forget, your steps are ordered by the Lord. We love you. I pray God bless you. I pray God keep you. I pray He you order your steps and fulfill His plan for your life. That's for me and my lovely, beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you all. God bless you. See you on Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless. Take care. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing.